Well, I'm starting this a second time because I touched the screen and it went off. So we're starting all over again. I'm going to pull the camera around a little bit so you can see me. Not that you need to, but it helps me if I can see myself. I've got a lot of stuff spread out here on my dining room table. This is what some people call clutter. These are my treasures because these are the things I work with and I create with. I'm going to go through some of these things. It's going to take a while, so hope you got your cup of coffee and you're ready to sit down and watch. Or if you're getting ready for bed, don't go to sleep till you watch this whole video because you're going to find a few things you like. These are my miniature things that I have trouble finding. I look for precise size. I like quality and at a good price, of course. So I'm going to show you some things. I think I'll start with my gazebo. Now this gazebo I worked on a couple of years ago. And I'm going to show you how the, has the door that opens here. And up here, you have another door. Now you cannot see inside this gazebo very well. I'm going to see if I can just move the camera close enough that you can tell I put things inside and I want you to be able to see them. Really can't get too close because the table's in the way. But if you look right in here, you can see, can you see inside? I've got this little boy, there's trees, there are Christmas packages here in front. There's a dog, there's another dog. And over on one side, now let me pull this around, see if I'm getting in the right place. Not quite. Okay. Right here, going the wrong way, there. That's a mailbox, the old fashioned mailbox. Now I'm gonna raise this up because I want you to see the top of the gazebo. You see how it goes up in a spire and on top I placed two white doves. Now inside that gazebo, I had placed a Christmas tree. It was all decorated with jewelry. But I decided, no, I didn't want the tree in there because when the doors are closed, you don't even see it. Now I'm gonna show you what that tree looked like. And you can use your own judgment. Bring it forward. I decided to take this tree out And hold on and put this tree in. Can you see it? But first, I've got to put some ornaments on this tree. This is a lightweight one, and I think it will work better because I don't want all of my ornaments hidden inside the gazebo. 
I'm going to show you my jewel tree again. Now I've got to do a little, I uh, broke off a couple of little beads. But I want you to get a general idea of what the tree looked like. If you can see it. Let's move things around here a little bit. Okay. almost hard to see the whole thing. I'm gonna pull the camera back a little bit so you can get a better view. Take a look at this. Zoom in on it if you can. Take a look at all of the beads that are on this. Some of these are from brooches, they're from earrings, they're from bracelets. Some of them are like this. They're on strings of beads that are meant to be used as miniature ornaments. Right here is a wreath pin. Ladies wear them every Christmas. Here is another one. It's a candle. Christmas pin. Uh, here's one down here. I don't know if you can, no, you can't see that one. I'll lift it. Maybe you can see it. Little green one. That's a big ornament. Christmas pin. On around, here is a necklace cross. There's so many, these are earrings. Single earrings, they work great. These little things came off of, you know those little rings they have for wine glasses and they come in a set and you put the, that way when you're drinking your wine, you can identify your glass by the little ornament that's on it. And that's what this is, came off Here's another one. And they came off of one of those that I picked up in a Goodwill store for about 99 cents. That was a good buy because now they sell in the package for $6.99. Here's another cross, necklace cross. A lot of these are single earrings. A lot of them came from bracelets. You can get an idea. Santa Claus here, Santa Claus down here. Right here, I'm gonna have to raise it up so you can see. This is a cameo pin. I love these things. Let's see if there's anything else that might be special on here. Whoops. Now, the thing I'm having to do, I decided I would keep this like it is, but I've got to do a little doctoring up because I've played with it so much. And I've got to rearrange and add a few more beads to it. But I have to decide what kind of stand to put it on. You can help me. Let's put this in the chair. I've got three or four stands. Here's one's got a pig. Of course, you know this is for a candle. It's just about two and a half inches tall. Here's another one that I believe is ceramic. It's also a candle holder. You can see how nice it is. It's good and heavy. That's why I like it. So, I've got some other candle holders, but I think I'm, it's a cross between these two. And I'm going to set it down where you can see, and I'm going to set this right on top. Now, it will have to be fastened firmly. It's gonna to have to use hot glue 
to get that on there. I've got to do a little trimming around the bottom. And then you'll see this is going to be my ornament tree. All vintage jewelry. Let's pull this back a little and see if you can see the top of the tree. There you go. That's just one side. So that's what I work with. Things like that. And if you have vintage jewelry, especially rhinestones, and you want to get rid of it, I'm the person you want to see. Now I'm going to remove this because I don't want to knock it off and have a disaster. Hold on, let me see who's on the phone. Okay, that's just a friend. She'll, she'll understand. Now, I'm going to put this back up here because I may need it to, so you can see what I'm going to show you. These are two little snowmen that I made. They're kind of cute. And they were the right size because I wanted them to go inside my gazebo. Let's open this door again. Open this one again. And when I finish the other tree, it's going to go inside and it's going to have lights. Now I'll show you the kind of lights. I'm not using the battery or the plug-in miniature lights. I'm using these little things. Let me show you what they look like. They come in a package. You can buy them at Michael's. You see this little? That's what it is, look, almost like an ornament. Well, I can, it hooks on something, but I can mash that and the light comes on to mash the back of it. If I twist the top, I can turn it off and turn it back on. When I turn it back on, it stays lit. Now, this is going to go inside my gazebo. I'm just going to set it there for the moment if I can get it in there. Okay. When I get those lined in there, you can take them in and out so that you can turn them on and off. They got my little... There you go. You can see it better that way. So I've got two of them here. I'm going to take that one back out so I don't let the battery run down. Things like this are very handy. Close the door. Now I've got some things I found in Pennsylvania when Jan and I were there. We were shopping in what's called the Jubilee store. We never heard of Jubilee because around here, we have Goodwill stores, basically the same type store, discount stores. These stores are so nice, especially if you're decorating for Christmas and you're looking for specific things, you never know what you'll find in one of those stores. We were there the day they were having a parade. Parade was going to be at five o'clock. And everything that you had in your cart that you're getting ready to buy would be marked half price at five o'clock. Well, we were going to be there at five o'clock. So we would get a discount on everything because Jan found quite a few things that she could use in her antique shop. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I got 
You may be familiar with them. I was not. This is a little metal Victorian house. As you can see, it is so pretty and so well made. I just had to have it. Then I found another one that matched it. Oh my goodness, I was just thrilled. See that? See how pretty that is. Now, I have Christmas houses. I have little Christmas people, Christmas uh, street lights, all sorts of things. Oh, these, these would be perfect. This one had a tag on the back that had been 1049. Then it had another tag, little well, 499. Okay, I'll pay 499 for it. But at five o'clock, I got it for 250. I bought each one, 250 each. And I just love them. And one of the other pieces I found, I think I got it for about 50 cents. I think it made a metal too, and I believe it belongs with this set. Now I'm sure there are many other pieces in this set, and I just fell for them. So on the back is a tag, and I'm giving you this name in case you happen to live where they sell things like this. And the name on the tag is Kurt S. Adler. Kurt, K-U-R-T, Adler, A-D-L-E-R. Says New York. But maybe in Pennsylvania, you might find more of these or any state that you're in. And if the price is reasonable, you buy these and I'll reimburse you the cost and shipping because I would like to have more of these. Kurt S. Adler. Okay. Uh, let's see. I've got a few other things. Did I show you? Here's, here's the little set of white trees that light up. Let me move this around a little bit. See how they change color? I've got nine of those. I got them for probably about $2. And I can't wait to do a Christmas display using those little white, snowy white trees and the house behind them. I don't know if you can see that house or not. Well, you can see a little bit of it. It's a big house. I think I paid about $4 for that. You're talking about an expensive piece of Christmas. Oh, uh, let's see what else. Of course, you can see my lighted, where is it? My lantern over there. I love things like that at Christmas time. I bought that a couple of years ago. So you can get all kinds of them now. But that's one of those things I'll keep. Now, when I go shopping, I'm looking for miniatures, like I said. I have to show you the kind of thing I use. You see this? This is a bag of little Christmas packages. That's what's inside this gazebo. Not only that, oh, look at these. You love these things. Here are two little drums. See the little drums? They're also inside the gazebo. Take a look at this little drum. Isn't that precious? I decorate with these things every year. And I never, never have enough tiny wreaths. You gotta have Christmas wreaths, different sizes. These are the small ones. Let's see. Oh, and you have to see these little things. These little wooden miniatures, these are old. See the little drummer? How precious that is. And 
it seems like there was another thing. Oh, yes. Now, you older folks are going to remember this. I'd say that you bought one of these for your children. Remember, it's a little post that had rings, and the child would place the rings over the post and get them in order. This is a little miniature toy that you'll remember. I'm sure you will, because my children had them, and I'm saying yours did too. Here's another little, these are little wooden miniatures, and I've got a whole bunch of these things. Wooden part with them for anything. They come in so handy. Another little thing, I've had these for years. I use them in all of my decorating. I'm gonna lay them right here. You see what they are? They're little teeny tiny Christmas packages. I love these little things and they're hard to find. So I've still got a few left and they go in my sleighs and they go in the, the basket. They go in whatever I need to put them in. Sometimes they're on the trees and sometimes they're in little chairs with other little packages and things. You know, you do a lot of creating and things like that. Here's a pack, a set. Things like these are inside my gazebo. Now, this is very heavy. I had to put snow around it and I put the doves at the top. So I wanted you to see those things. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is the reason I ask for vintage jewelry, junk, I, some people call it junk jewelry. Now, it's not junk jewelry. It only becomes junk jewelry if you've lost one of the earrings or if the pin comes off the back of a brooch. I'm going to show you a few of the things that I've collected and I never have enough. I had to go to Michael's the other day because when I start doing another tree like this jewel tree, which I plan to do, you can see the three white ones in the, see the three white cones over here? I plan to cover those with jewelry. People seem to like the jewel tree. And I use pins, straight pins. These are little, uh, straight pins with heads on them, silver and gold. There's not too many in these packages, so they won't last long, and it takes a lot of them. But I found a package of the half-inch straight pins. You have to look for these pins, because that's the length that you want. You don't want the big, long straight pins. You want the short ones. This package has 800 pieces in it. And I'll guarantee you, when I'm finished with the next one or two jewel trees, I'll have used all 800 of these pins. I thought you'd like to see some of my junk jewelry. Let's just open this little box here. See what we can do. Let me get the box turned around where I can get to the opening. Here we go. Let me show you what's in here. These are little Christmas tree ornaments. There's your little Dalmatian dog. Put this up here. See the little Dalmatian dog. Here's a little red kitty cat. A little gray kitty cat. Another little D Dalmatian dog. So these are all in one of these little medicine bottles. 
These things come in handy, you know. Now let's try something else. Recognize it? Of course you do. This is Kentucky Fried Chicken Colonel Sanders Coleslaw Container. That tells you where I buy my fried chicken. For Colonel Sanders from the same town I'm from. These I use for my odds and ends of beads. For instance, see these pretty little flowers? There's another flower. There's a blue one. A little blue flower. Oh, let's see what all we've got. Here's an earring. Didn't have a back to it. Awesome oh, little leaves. I love the leaves. There's a little leaf. It's probably missed, lost its other earring. You can get an idea of what's in this little container. All these little flowers, tiny flowers. And I just love going through these things. Okay, that, that's one little container. Let's try another one. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, these have Christmas designs. Here's your uh, wreath Christmas pin. Now you've seen these little, those little uh, rings that go on wine glasses so that you can identify your wine glass from somebody else's. Here's one with a little uh, candy cane. Let's see what else we've got here. Mm, there's more of them. That was another little Christmas package. And, oh, I like this one. It's got the little Christmas tree. Well, I take those things off of the ring and I put them on my Christmas trees. Here's another Christmas brooch. Doesn't have a back to it but I can use it. You see how pretty that is? I've got a whole batch of Christmas pins. Let's see what else. Well, there are more things. Okay, here's another. This looked like a Christmas wreath that, you know how they had the mother's pins where each color represents a different child. This kind of reminds me of that. So this it's another Christmas pin. And oh I love these. Oh see these iridescent. Okay, that's that container. This is how I keep them organized. Let's see what else. See what this one is. Oh my, these are basically, I love this one. Can you imagine how the person felt when they lost the earring that matches this? Oh, I would have cried. But you see, these come in handy for me. They become my ornaments. Let's see what else. Oh, I love these beads beads like this. I just want you to see what the things look like that you can use again and again. They come in so handy and I love being able to go, oh, look at this. Now this is a pair of earrings right here. I may just keep them for myself because I think I've got a blouse. These will match. Now, but these are some of those that are on a string. See that? Those make grand ornaments for a miniature Christmas tree. I'll be able to put them on this tree over here, but I'll take them apart 
And then there are the little red and white stripe, shiny ones. That's where my half inch pins come in handy. And I use a lot of hot glue. And let me tell you, when you burn your fingers with that stuff, you'll remember it. And you'll be more careful next time. Okay, I don't know if there's anything else here that you need to see. But that gives you an idea of what I uh, use my coleslaw containers for. This one has rhinestone. Now, I can take something like this when it's a bracelet. I did a beautiful... Um, Oh, the stocking. And across the top of the stocking, I had a band. And it was a bracelet. Something like this. You can take a complete bracelet. And that's the beginning of your stocking. And then you work your way down. And you're going to be surprised at what I show you next. Get these back in here and shape. There we go. Get them in the right places. I can close them up. Maybe. Yeah, that will put the floor. I think you're going to like what I'm showing you. Here is a bag of Christmas pins. I love getting these. Let me show you what they look like. Now, I've used a bunch of these. Nothing like having a star at the top of the tree. This is a pin. See the horn? It's kind of hard. I put it up against my blouse so that you can kind of get a better look at what it looked like on my arm right here. These I love. Here is a pretty silver and gold. See how pretty that is? Oh, you've got the cherubs. Another one. These things go on Christmas trees, shadow boxes. Love my little Christmas trees. This is a few of them that I've had left. I think I had, I did one gazebo and I put these, see the one with the bells on it? They went right above each of those windows. Now you can see, see what I'm talking about. Love these things. Here's another one. Beautiful. See, Christmas. It's a little bit dark. These are the things I put on my Christmas trees and all of my decorations. I'm going to leave those right there. I'll put those away later. Okay. You never have too much. This is very heavy. I'll show you what I've got here in the top. Can't wait to do something with this. I don't know why anybody would give a bracelet like this away, but I'll guarantee you, I'm going to make good use of it. And they won't be sorry whenever they see what I create with it. Pearls. Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff in here. I just can't show y'all of it. 
I just want to give you a sample. Anything sparkly. Love, love the rhinestone, the borealis pins and earrings. You can't go wrong with those things. That's so that you can see what I work with. Now, uh, let's see, let's do the pearls back here. More pearls. Mm, here we come with the rhinestones. If I can get that off there, oh well. Rhinestone. Oh, look what we got. Look what we have now. You wait till you see this one. I know this is very old because it belonged to my neighbor. She died when she was 93. And I always admired her jewelry that she wore. I knew it was all vintage very good quality jewelry. So after she died, I used to keep a um, basket of bouquet or something on the outside of my door, especially during holidays. And I came home one day and there was a little box inside my flower arrangement on the door. And I looked in the box and this is what I found. This necklace with earrings to match. And I knew immediately the lady's daughters had put that box on my door and their mother probably told them to give it to me because I always loved her jewelry. So I won't be doing anything with this necklace. It's a keepsake. I use the rhinestone necklaces because they won't be worn again. This is a bowl full. I use all kinds. And I have already used a lot of these on a bouquet I did for Jan when she married the second time. I did her bridal bouquet with rhinestones. And these were hanging down from the bouquet. So there's a few of the things that I work with course I had to put it in a Fostoria bowl, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to set that aside. And I think I've pretty much shown you the things I wanted you to see. I wanted you to know what I work with. And I'll be selling this gazebo with the Christmas tree inside, I hope, before Christmas. Now I wrap the beads around it just to get it started. That's going to sit right inside the gazebo, and it'll have enough ornaments on it to make it show up when the lights shine on it. Uh, I'm looking to see if there's anything I've overlooked. I don't think so, but I'll show you this. I dropped it and it kind of got side and waddled a little bit. But this is what I used to keep my brooches and earrings and necklaces in. And this one fell on the floor, so it's a little messed up now. But you can see this beautiful blue necklace and earrings. I love this long brooch. Can you see it? Yeah, there we go. 
another one I like. I love these red earrings. These red earrings, they got twisted inside. And I like the black one. Well, I like them all, to tell the truth. So I had three or four boxes of these and I used some of them and I did, I don't know what I did with the rest of them. But anyway, that gives you an idea of the things I do at Christmas. I set up an entire village with my buyer's carolers. Most of you are familiar with the buyer's carolers. And my favorite set is the Cries of London. You've got the flower lady, you've got the doll maker, you've got the um, gingerbread man, you've got, goodness, I can't think of all of the different characters. But once I get them set up on my credenza with lots of snowy trees and music and my little horses and my deer, it makes quite a impressive scene, tell you the truth. And it's so much fun. That's what I do to entertain myself are things like this. So, I hope you've enjoyed what you see here. Here's a box of little Christmas packages. Can't do without my little drums and things. And I've got a lot of miniature, wooden, wooden miniatures that would date back 60 and 70 years. And you saw a couple of those, one with the little spools that children used to play with. I hope I've given you some ideas. I've got my extra little stands here in case I make more than one tree. I'll get my big tree out here again so you can get another look at it. And once I get it on a nice stand, and I need to do two or three little repairs on it. I'll be selling this. If you're, now, I would not sell it to anyone that I had to ship it to because I just would not take a chance on it being damaged in shipping. But hopefully someone local will want to buy it because that gives me reason to make another one. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'm gonna call the lady back that just called me a few minutes ago and see what she has to say. So you take care, tell your friend they should subscribe to Chit Chat with Granny Pat that I have more things to show you between now and Christmas. So thank you for watching me and I'll talk to you later.